Well, as you may have seen today when I tried to show you the OSD data overlaid on the walk snail video, I wasn't able to do it because I had an old version of the walk snail OSD tool. So now that things have settled down and stuff, I'm patching up those little problems I had today like the power supply battery for the 12 inch monitor and walk snail OSD tool. And it looks like there was a new, uh, when did this new version come out? I'll put this in the description, this link in the descriptions. And let's see, latest release is version 2. Doesn't really tell me. Let's Click latest release right here. Oh well. Looks like April of this year. I hadn't used it. I went back to the one I had, which was a standalone version, and it did not even run. So I came in here on this downloaded this Locksnell OSD tools windows.zip I installed it on my computer and now that it's installed on the computer we can run it it is a Windows program now Locksnell OSD tool looks a lot different from the last version I had open files we can run in to where our files, raw files are. We'll just use this first one here. Now it will pick up the video file. It will pick up the OSD file and it actually picks up uh, the .srt file. You have to open files again and surf to your fonts that you use software sneaky fonts is what I'm using version 1.4 that may be updated by now too and I'll just choose this one now that all five of these are figured out you just click start render right down here and off it goes doing its thing this to me is a whole lot better than the last version I played with several months back uh, where you had to find the video file uh, and basically drag and drop it on top of the application they were using at that time. But this one looks like it's just like a couple of months old. I'll have to buy him a cup of coffee for this. Uh, this one does seem to work pretty good. I don't know about docs for it. I'm sure they might be there in the wiki. Uh, but I think this one works really quite quickly. Uh, although this wasn't a big file, it's only like a 60 second flight. The flights today have been very short. Uh, I find out the information I need from them pretty easily through just a few seconds of flying, especially in my little cramped space back here behind the house. And there we go, we're done. We can close this and surf back to where our raw files were that we were using to do all of this. And you'll find a new file in there, Avatar, the one you chose, with OSD. Let me double click on that. You can see this is, whoops. <laughs> yeah, I had looked at this before. Let's play it from the start. There we go. That's much better. And you can see by the colored fonts and stuff around the screen that this is sneaky fonts. I also darkened down the camera on the walk snail today. I'm just hitting all sorts of places here and there on it. And this has some problems. Like I say, the 
RSSI link, whatever you want to call it, is really low. Don't think that's reading right. The throttle over there reading 4% right now, 5%. That's not right at all either, I don't think. Because I don't have uh, enough satellites, eight or more. I don't have a distance or a direction error to home. But other than that, this is all going really well. And I do believe I like this uh, version of Waxnell OSD overlay tools best. All right. Thank you, guys.